day, Spider-Man and Doc Ock were having a fight on top of a train. Doc Ock would use his mechanical arms to pull passengers from the train and throw them into the air. This made the passengers very cross and though Spider-Man was able to catch all of them in his webs, they would later be sure to tell the station master what a bad railway it was. Meanwhile, one of Ock's mechanical arms reached into the train's front carriage and broke something important. You have a train to catch, he said, and hurried away. I can't stop, yelled X95. Uh, my brakes have gone. Spider-Man appeared at the window to see what the matter was, but the train was going so fast that his mask flew off into the street where a goat ate it for tea. He jumped to the front. Tell everyone to hang on, he said. He tried stopping the train with his foot, but that didn't work. Any more bright ideas, said the driver. He tried using his webs. The webs weren't strong enough, and he was launched forward. Spider-Man did say he had a few more bright ideas, though it was more the same idea with more webs. He fired more webs than he could hold without making a face, and pulled them tightly till his arms ached. said Spider-Man, after breaking through the buffers and precariously Italian jobbing over the edge, X-95 stopped at last. <laughs> said X-95. Spider-Man had no energy to answer. He began to fall forward before being caught by Mr. Bright Ideas himself. And with help from all the passengers, Spider-Man was carried to safety and everyone, including the narrator, took a deep breath. <sighs> Spider-Man had saved a sentient train and all the lives on board, and though a trainload of people now knew who he was, they promised to keep his identity a secret. <laughs>